Today on 10 Minute IT Jams, we have Adi Engel, who is the Chief Marketing Officer of Visita. So Visita is a software platform for small business management that has strong value proposition around helping micropreneurs to get paid for their services. So welcome to the jam, Adi. Thank you for having me. Good to be here. Thank you. Um, so to get us started, would you, could you just tell us a bit about Visita's platform? What kind of solutions do you offer? So we live in the space of uh, helping small businesses and micro businesses digitalize their day to day operations. So that would be an app that basically helps them with the time management, their client management, their, you know, getting paid for the services that they provided. So um, just an overall solution to help them get on board of that, you know, digitalization wagon. Mm. So you're kind of in like the fintech, um, non-traditional bank sort of space. Absolutely. And we do work together with bank because obviously everyone in the ecosystem has a very strong incentive to get SMEs to digitalize themselves. So that works well for the SMEs themselves. They get better efficiency, better transparency, you know, create better client uh, engagement and better client experiences for their clients. And then it works better for the uh, traditional banking industry and the neo bank industry because they could get the data, the, you know, the exposure to those small businesses that potentially were kind of uncharted territory for them before. Yeah. And in your field, so how, how has technology changed the relationship with people in their traditional banks or financial institutions, like for young people, for example, may not be interested in the physical banking model. So how has um, your field, the technology changed that? Well, I don't think anyone was particularly keen on the physical banking aspect. You know, banks were very happy to pull back on their community presence. But I think specifically for um, micro entrepreneurs, flexible workers, um, you know, this created a bit of a vacuum because if I am not able to show up to my physical bank at the, you know, at the corner of my main street and the banker there knows me and there's therefore knows to extend a line of credit to me, then how do I actually engage with the bank? So with the digitalization of the banking services, something needed to happen also from the SME side, which is the digitalization of the SME. Otherwise, they simply don't speak the same language and they speak, simply don't live you know, in the same platform. Mm. Yeah, so you mentioned a bit about kind of the pandemic's relationship to financial institutions. Um, so in terms of small businesses going digital, what aspects of their businesses are the most freelancers and solo entrepreneurs taking to the digital spaces that they use to go offline? Um, and what's the biggest challenges with this transition? Well, I think the biggest thing is that it became a bit of a hype. You know, at some point, everyone were telling you, you have to go online. And mm -hmm. what does that mean? You know, a lot of people are like, am I supposed to now become a, you know, Instagram yoga teacher? How do I monetize that? You know, what if it's not my thing? I think, you know, one of the challenges that we saw is actually breaking it down to, you know, the specific vertical, the specific profession that that small business owner had, because obviously it's a huge amount of individual professions. So if I am, for example, a financial consultant, going online for me is a completely different thing than uh, for a yoga studio owner or for a you know hairdresser so you know and can a hairdresser go online what does that mean so i think it was about breaking it down to the specifics and saying um yeah this is how it would work for you you know a financial advisor you can st still take meetings online you can charge your clients remotely you can practically do the same thing that you always used to only from home assuming that you have you know that mental space but you know if i'm a hairdresser what does going online mean that needed to be unpacked and i think what we did find is that one common denominator for all of small businesses is the drive 
to go cashless, to have the ability to pay and get paid remotely, which is basically a huge driver for digital payments in general. So, you know, that is something that we've seen a huge increase with. And now it's about, you know, yes, can you send someone a link to get paid? Yes, you can. But can you make a business logic out of it? When is it sent? Who are you sending it to? Did they remember to pay? Did you remember to follow up with them? All of those things, we can help with automation of it. We can help with, you know, building kind of a business logic out of it, if that makes sense. Mm. Um, yeah, and in your opinion, what is um, what can fin the fintech industry be doing better? So what what can um, the wider fintech ecosystem do better to serve um, enterprises, small businesses, banks, everything? Well, I think, you know, traditionally it's considered, you know, the fintechs, they're the innovative ones. They bring in the great ideas. They bring in new SaaS models into the industry. Um, that's, you know, all great. But how are we communicating all of this to the customer? Eventually, the, our customers are consumers. You know, small businesses are a consumer challenge. They have consumer behaviors. So we cannot expect them to make you know purely logical decisions they don't have an it department they didn't you know have and create an rfp uh, to choose the perfect application for them so it's on us to really kind of make the journey accessible to them to clarify the value to them and on the other end it's also on us to collaborate with the incumbent banks in the way that will be suitable for them. You know, it's easy to say, you know, these are big enterprises, they don't understand the client, their cycles are so long, but this, you know, this responsibility is on us. It's not about, you know, will they come our way? It's about our, us meeting them more than just in the middle. We have to, to find our way to them because eventually they will deliver the trust of the customer, they will deliver the reach, and hopefully they will trust us to deliver the product. Right, yeah. And um, finally, what is the best way for enterprises um, and users to get in touch with Visita? Well, our website will be a good start. So www.visita.com, as you might expect, we also have quite a significant a Facebook community of people who let us know exactly what they want from us. And I'm personally on LinkedIn if you wanted to look me up um, at the angle. Perfect. Um, perfect. Well, that concludes our IT Jam with VC to CMO, Adi Engel. Thank you so much for joining me today, Adi. Thank you. It was a pleasure.